Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. Uh, seeing as last week I did a sort of uh, Deck Builders Toolkit 2010 revisited, um, I figured why not do uh, a revisit of the 2011 Deck Builders Toolkit. So this originally came out in March 2011 um, <clears throat> and as we saw from uh, the previous toolkit uh, the contents of the boosters does seem to change through the course of the year. So this one was bought fresh this week from a comic store. So we'll see whether there's any uh, new boosters in this. So in this pack you get basically um, four boosters, four 15 card boosters, 125 semi-random cards, 100 basic lands, deck builder's guide and the storage box itself. And there's also a, a learn to play in here. Um, so pretty good value for money because these retail somewhere between, I think, 20 to $25, depending whether you're in the US or Canada and where you get it from. Um, and in Canada, boosters are basically $5 a go. So with four boosters in here, um, it's pretty good value for money. On the downside, the boosters possibly may not be standard legal, we'll see. And of course a lot of these cards now will have rotated out. So if you're going to be using this for standard, it's not a lot of good. But if you're playing extended or just want to play casual or, you know, building anything like that, um, then this is a pretty good product to, do, to use for that. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So we have, uh, as always, our packs of cards and our boosters. So this is interesting. So we have a Magic the Gathering, um, how to play. The actual deck builders toolkit guide. From a booster perspective, um, all of these would actually be currently standard legal because um, we've got a 2012 core set booster in here, New Phyrexia, Mirrodin Besiege, and Scars of Mirrodin. So all of those are going to be uh, standard legal until uh, rotation, which won't be till October. So that's pretty good on the booster front. Um, now in here, it looks like a lot of the cards are going to be M11, um, but we'll see as we go through. Uh, there's obviously some um, Rise of Eldrazi here and some Scars of Mirrodin. Um, so we've got, let's just open the packs here. So first up, this would, looks like this is going to be our pack of land. And you get a nice amount of land with this. So again, I'm just going to quickly slide through these so you can just see. So it's, again, four pieces of artwork for each colour of mana. I'm just going to make sure these are all land. Yep, so that pack is all land. Right, and slightly large two packs here. I think this has got cards and, and land in it. Oh, it's stuff all the way through. Let's just try and find the other load of land. So what I'm going to do first of all is just go through um, these two stacks of cards because in here uh, this is the component that never changes in the 2011 toolkit so which 
you know, in, when you buy one of these, these will always be the same. So let's have a look. So we've got a Perilous Mirror, Strider Harness, Prophetic Prism. We've got some Evolving Wilds here for Mana Fixing, Pilgrim's Eye, Infantry Veteran, Soul's Attendant, Squadron Hawk, two of those. Just keep your eye on the mana, um, on the set symbols while we're going through here. You'll see we've got M11, we've got some um, World Wake in here, and we've got some uh, Rise of the Eldrazi, some Zendikar there, Core Sky Fisher, Core Hookmaster, Assault Griffin, Cloud Crusader, Pacifism, two of those, Solemn Offering, Safe Passage, Inspired Charge, Augriel, Scroll Thief, Cloud Elemental, so you can see these are going through by colour, Ether Adept, Azure Drake, Plated Sea Strider, Surakar Banisher, Cancel, two of those, Mana Leak, Foresee, Preordain, there's a nice cage, and we've got some vampires here. This is black now moving on to. So Gold Rose Vampire, Bloodseeker, Viscera Seer, Child of Night, Cadaver Imp, Crypt Ripper, Jag Wasp Swarm, Doom Blade. It's two of those. The Duress from M11, Quag Sickness. Sign in Blood, Grasp of Darkness, and then moving on to Red, we've got Goblin Tunneler, Fiery Hellhound, Volshook Heart Stoker, an Art Runner, Manic Vandal, Ogre Resistor, Berserkers of Blood Ridge, a couple of Lightning Bolts in here, Flame Slash, Chandra's Outrage, Act of Treason, a Demolish, a couple of Lana Wild Elves, Garrick's Companion, and we'll move on to the other stack, so the rest of the green will be in here. Overgrown Battlement, Viridian Emiracy, Emiracy, Emissary, sorry, <laughs> Giant Spider, Alpha Tyrannix, Spined Worm, Harrow, Giant Growth, Plummet, Naturalize, Savage Silhouette, and now we move on to a number of uncommon. So looking at this, all of those so far have actually all been commons. So you get a small amount of uncommons here um, through the different colours. So you get a Sierra Angel, a Condemn, and in blue you have a Mind Control and a Jace's Ingenuity. In black you have a Corrupt and the Excellent Skin Render. Um, Red's Fireball and Prodigal Pyromancer and then in green you've got Garrick's Pack Leader and uh, Leatherback Bailoff. And then we move on to this pack. So this is the pack that contains the so-called semi-random element um, and in here um, there are four Terramorphic Expanses and sandwiched between those are uh, one of about 11, a possible choice of 11 different archetypes um, and in this particular toolkit uh, there's a number that they choose from the original pool which is battle cry black discard elves white equipment metal craft um, library depletion vampires black what well, sorry blue white flyers mana ramp white green aura and red burn so from that list you basically get four of those 
archetype. So let's have a look in here and see what we actually have got. So there's our Terramorphic Expanse. So first up we have Air Servant here. Now that would make it uh, Blue White Flights. And we have a Sleep, another Sierra Angel, Oust, Stormfront Pegasus, two of those, an Aether Adept, and an Unsummon. We've got an Arrest. A negate the next one there's our terrible expanse okay so we have a duskdale worm so that this would be our mana ramp pelica worm frontier guide bait off wood crasher we've got a cultivate two of those and an explore, you see the ramp component, uh, overgrown battlement, undo giant, Yavamaya worm, there's that, and our next terramorphic expanse. So we have a, a boar umbra, so not surprisingly this is going to be the white green auras, got a mammoth umbra, cudgel troll, Shepherd of the Lost, Aura Gnarlid, two of those, Totem Guide Heart Beast, Sacred Wolf, a Spider Umbra, Umbra, a Hyena Umbra, and another Terramorphic Expanse coming up. So now we move on to our final archetype. Got a Voltaic Key here. So this is obviously Metalcraft. Uh, Stone Golem, Dark Steel Mirror, Palladium Mirror, Chrome Steed, two of those, A Mirror Sire, Razorfield Rhino, Perilous Mirror, and a Golem Foundry. Okay, so let's actually move on to the, uh, the boosters. Let's just uh, go through this in set order, see what we can pull. Okay, so first up we have a Skulls and Mirrors in pack, which you can see straight away has a grasp of darkness in it. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer for this one. Okay, Bonds of Quicksilver. He's all very slippery out of the packet. Volshock Replica. Corpse Cur. Soul Parry. Got a Panic Spell Bomb. Azuri's Arches. Relic Putrescence. Horizon Spell Bomb. Volition Rain, so that's the first of our uncommons. Ember Smith, Culling Dias. Wow, there we go. <laughs> we have a Mox Opal. Excellent. So that's a Mythic Rare. Um, zero to cast, has Metal Craft. You tap it and add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if you have, only if you control three or more artifacts. We have a swamp and a golem token. Oh my. We have a sunblast angel in foil. So it's four, two white, flying. When sunblast angel enters the battlefield, destroy all tapped creatures, and it's a four five. Okay, so that was a very impressive pack. I must admit, these uh, deck builders toolkits are um, probably my favourite thing. 
you get a bit of everything. You get sort of staples, land, and then you get the all the excitement of opening up boosters. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So this is mirrored in besiege. We're moving on to now. We've got a divine offering, crush, Fangrim Marauder, Spire Serpent, a Spin Engine. Banishment Decree, Caustic Hound, Vivisection, Mere Sire, Serum Raker. So moving on to our unco uncommons, we have a uh, Koldotha Flame Fiend, Vidalcan Atomist, Anatomist. Got a core prowler. Got Frexian Rebirth, which is a rare. Uh, four two white sorcery. Destroy destroy all creatures. Then put an XX colorless horror artifact creature token onto the battlefield where X is the number of creatures destroyed this way. So we have a board sweeper uh, for creatures. And um, at the end, uh, once we've done that, we then can put this XX colourless horror, horror artifact creature onto the battlefield based on the uh, number of creatures destroyed. We got a germ token and we have an island. Okay, so we move on to New Frexia. We have a Viridian Harvest, Insatiable Soul Eater, Apostle's Blessing, Micasynth Wellspring, uh, Mortis Dogs, Ogre Menial, Pristine Talisman, Deathhood Cobra, Impaler Shrike. Razor Swine. Okay, excellent. We've got a Whispering Spectre. So um, we would have seen this card before, actually, when I did uh, my series on discard uh, decks. So that's our first uncommon. Got a Surge Node. Wing Splicer. Oops, sorry. Yeah, wing Splicer. These are very slippery. Okay, fantastic. We have a Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. Another Mythic Rare. Uh, it's five and two white. Uh, Vigilance. Other creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Creatures your opponents control get minus two, minus two. Uh, poison Counter and Mountain. So another great pack. So let's see what we can pull from our 2012 core set. Okay, so we have a shock. So we've got a doom blade. So that's that brings up our doom blade count to I think three. In the in the product as a whole, because there were two in the actual um, in the deck builders component, the giant spider, Murfolk looter, mighty leap. So we've got a core set here, so we're going to get a lot of very familiar stuff. A distress, act of treason. Yeah, I think we've got one of those in the uh, the main part of the kit. Uh, Goblin tunneler. Hideous Visage, Pride Guardian, and now we move on to our Uncommons. We've got a Levitation there, Hunter's Insight, there's a Combust, and our Rare is the Sphinx of Uthun. So this is 5 and 
too blue as flying. Whenever a Sphinx of Ithun enters the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of your library. An opponent separates these cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. I think that cropped up in um, one of the M12 intro decks, possibly. Sure on that. Soldier token and a mountain. So, yeah, some pretty nice pulls there. Um, particularly pleased with that sort of first pack with the uh, that nice foil in there. Sunblast Angel. I was only looking at this actually this morning because um, I think it's in one of the most recent jewel decks, I believe. Anyway, there you have it. That's um, an unboxing of the 2011 Deck Builders Toolkit, just to show you, if you went out and bought one today, um, what sort of updates you might see in this. So, as you can see, they definitely do um, update the booster packs in these. So hopefully in the next few months we should see a, a new version of this toolkit. I've not heard anything yet um, and obviously when they do the, the, the ones, the new, the completely new version, so it's obviously going to be a 2012, um, they update everything, you know, with a semi-random element as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.